Hey guys, I'm here to do a new conclusion video. This is for the month of November. And as you know, the month of November, I did the battle of the books theme, a fiction fight, if you will. Basically, I divided November into two rounds. The first two weeks was round one where I pitted fairy tale retailings, more specifically, the Little Red Riding Hood fairy tale. For round two, the last two weeks of November, I decided to take you guys to school books regarding the school environment, teen angst and sassy dialogue and all of that is a lot of fun to read. But not just any school, it's very fantastical, awesome, out of this world kind of schools. I'm gonna talk about read this month and what I thought of the month and the genres and all of that cool fun fun stuff. So let's get started shall we? For round one we had Dust City by Robert Paul Weston against Jackson Pierce's Sisters Red. So we had the Big Bad Wolf against Little Red Riding Hood. I gave Dust City an unreadable. There were great fairy tale characters and elements to Dust City, but it wasn't much of a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. It was actually kind of a mashup of different fairy tale stories. Henry the Teenage Wolf and his father, who was the Big Bad Wolf, who killed Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. That's as far as it goes in regards to the Little Red Riding Hood story. Surrounding this is all of the fairy tale elements and characters. I really enjoyed that aspect to a point. I felt that there were just too many characters and too many elements in the story. There were too many filler and side stories and I thought it was kind of taking away from the actual plot and focus of the book. So with that being said, Dust City was kind of a lightweight compared to Jackson Pierce's Sisters Red. Sisters Red, I gave a readable rating. This is actually one of my favorite books that I've read this year. The characters are amazing. I love Scarlet March. She's flawed but she's really kicking ass as well. Two female leads, Scarlet and Rosie, they're very strong female lead characters. The pacing and the flow was really great and the writing was really well done and you get some very sweet, sweet romance in here. Sisters Red was very good so definitely check it out if you haven't already. A lot of hype about it and it's very well deserved. In round one I would have to give it to Sisters Red. It KO'd Dust City into the dust essentially. Anyways, let's get to round two. I hope you enjoyed the orientation both at Hex Hall and Academy 7. Let's start with Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. I gave Hex Hall a readable rating, very well deserved. Hex Hall is super funny, witty, sarcastic. You have all the major YA elements in Hex Hall, which was hilariously awesome. To sum it up in two words, it was fun and entertaining. It's one of those books that is the epitome of YA. Teenage Aang, sassy dialogue. There was great pop culture references. If you like Cassandra Clare's The Mortal Instrument series, I think you'll really like Hexall. Talk about Academy 7 by Anne Osterlund. This is a sci-fi romance novel. Really enjoyed reading this. This was a very pleasant surprise. I gave this a readable rating. Very character driven. The interaction between Dane and Aaron were awesome. Very realistic. The setting of space was out of this world. Pardon the pun. I don't know if that's a pun. I don't know. The sci-fi elements, lasers, high-tech technology, great elements in the book. The development between the characters were really well done and the plot and the writing was very, very good. As in terms of which one is better, this is a tough decision because both of these are pretty much the same book but different genres. There are a lot of similar elements in both books. You have the plain, ordinary, but very extraordinary girl. There is the rebellious bad boy. It was the clicky, pretty, popular girl that was pining for the rebellious bad boy. There are defense classes in both of these books. I thought was a really weird coincidence. The main female lead characters are very mysterious and have a backstory you want to get to know and know more about. There are so many similarities in regards to the elements and the archetypes of character. Obviously the stories and execution was different. Hex Hall was definitely much more funny and sarcastic and witty. Academy 7 did not have any of that kind of dialogue but I don't think it needed it. I have to choose 
Academy 7 over Hexall. It won by just a smidge. I think as a standalone novel, Academy 7 captured everything I was kind of looking for. Great character development, great pacing, realistic romance. And I'm kind of partial to sci-fi, so I was kind of biased on that part. It seems to capture everything and more in less pages than the first book of Hex Hall. Granted, Hex Hall is part of a series, so we don't get to see the big drastic development of the characters, but there has to be a winner and a loser, guys. Both of them are winners. Very good. Check both of them out. In terms of the month, November was really fun. I got to experience both the fairy tale retellings and going back to school. It's really weird to see how many similar elements the school genre had. Archetypes of characters that reoccur in books, but you don't really notice it until you like kind of read them back to back. To one another. Fairy tale retellings, awesome. There are a lot of Cinderella retellings which I really want to get into. Yeah, that was the month of November. December book haul will be posted up tomorrow. I am very excited for the month of December because it's Christmas time. Lights and snow and holiday cheer and all of that happy, happy, cheesy stuff. I'll talk to you guys later and have a good one. Tim Hortons, very, very Canadian. Come to Canada, frolic in the snow, because that's what we do here in Canada. Have polar bear races, bone crusher. My polar bear, he is unbeatable, unstoppable.